This video will guide you through the removal, cleaning, and reinstallation of the DM55 purge block assembly. Please assure the DM55 is up to operating temperature prior to starting this procedure. Remove the two 1 quarter inch tubes from the purge stem actuating piston. It is advised that you mark these tubes to assure proper reassembly. Use a pair of 16 mm wrenches to loosen the two 10 mm jam nuts that are just below the purge stem return spring. Move both of these nuts along with the flat washer to the bottom of the threaded portion of the purge stem. Use a 5 mm hex wrench to remove the four 6 mm socket head cap screws that retain the actuating piston to its mounting bracket. Unscrew the purge stem from the actuating cylinder. The use of a wrench on the purge stem may be required. Source a 10 mm nut and flat washer. Place the washer then nut atop the purge stem. Use a 16 mm wrench to completely compress the return spring in order to facilitate the removal of the purge stem. Use appropriate wrenches to loosen the compression nut for the air inject tubing. Note that personal protective equipment should be used for the remaining steps. Remove the air inject tubing from the purge block assembly and set it aside. Loosen the remote purge adapter using a 7 8 inch or adjustable wrench. The remote purge adapter, purge stem, and return spring should now be easily removed from the DM55. It is best to immediately clean the remote purge adapter and purge stem while they are still hot. Use a wrench to remove the air inject check valve. Inspect this valve to assure there is no glue in it to prevent its proper operation. Replacement valve part number 115297 is available from ITW Dynatech. Remove the purge spout using an appropriately sized wrench. It is best to clean the spout immediately after disassembly while it is still hot. There are two 6 mm socket head cap screws fastening the purge block to the platen cover. Remove these two screws using a 5 mm hex wrench. It should now be possible to separate the purge block from the platen. You must pull the block up and away from the platen center at a slight angle in order to remove it. Use a 2 mm hex wrench to loosen the set screw holding the seat tube into the purge block. Remove the seat tube from the purge block. Note that there is a dash 114 70 durometer Viton O-ring, Dynatech part number N00119 in the block body that must be removed and replaced. Remove the 3 8 NPT brass street elbow. This is Dynatech part number 112317, but is commercially available at local hardware stores. Remove the purge valve handle. Dynatech recommends that this part be replaced with a high temperature grease fitting, as will be discussed later in this video. All fittings should now be removed from the purge block. Clean all passageways in the block and all attached components to the greatest extent possible. The components are manufactured from brass and aluminum and therefore are not suitable for cleaning in a burnout oven. The entire purge block assembly is available from Dynatech as part number 114295. Place Teflon tape on all component threads prior to reassembly to the purge block. 
The components can be assembled to the purge block prior to installation on the platen cover, as shown here, or attached after the purge block has been secured to the platen cover. Attach the street elbow and air inject check valve. Insert a brand new dash 114 70 durometer Viton O-ring Dynatec part number N00199 into the purge block prior to assembling the seat tube into the purge block. Tighten the 4mm set screw using a 2mm hex wrench to lock the seat tube into position. Install brand new 310 70 durometer Viton O ring and O ring backup Dynatech part numbers 114573 and 114844 to the gland on the exposed end of the seat tube. The platen face and seat tube access hole in the platen face should be thoroughly cleaned prior to reassembling the purge block to the platen. The DM55 platen should be at operating temperature and service personnel should be wearing personal protective equipment before undertaking the following procedures. Insert the purge block assembly into the platen at a slight downward angle until the o-ring at the end of the seat tube snaps into position. Secure the purge block to the platen cover using two 6mm socket head cap screws. Attach a high temperature grease fitting, Dynatech part number 117669, to the purge block in place of the purge valve handle that was originally supplied with the drum melter. Be certain to put Teflon tape on the threads prior to installation. This is the purge valve handle that you'll be replacing. Place Teflon tape on the threads, then reinstall the purge spout into the purge block. Reattach the air inject tube into the purge block and tighten the compression nut. Install a new 010 70 durometer Viton O ring, Dynatech part number N00177, in the gland at the end of the purge stem. Insert the purge stem into the remote purge adapter and assemble this to the purge block. Use a 16 mm wrench to remove the jam nut and washer that was employed to compress the purge stem return spring. Thread the actuating piston to the top of the purge stem until the threads bottom in the actuating piston. There should be about a 1 8 inch gap between the piston face and the mounting plate. If not, back off the actuating piston to provide this gap. Install the four 6mm socket head cap screws to securely attach the actuating piston to its mounting plate. Use 16 mm wrenches to readjust return spring tension on the actuating piston. Bring the washer and topmost nut up on the threaded rod until it is just providing light tension on the spring. Tighten the nut an additional one half inch to apply the proper spring tension. Bring the lower jam nut into place against the upper jam nut and wrench tighten to lock them in position. Attach the two 1 quarter inch tubes to the actuating piston. Look at the markings placed on the tubes when you disassemble these parts to assure they are reassembled in the proper location. 
The DM55 is now ready to operate. Assure that ADPSI PSI of compressed air is connected to the melter and a drum of glue is under the platen. Go into the auto ram down mode to lower the platen and purge air as the platen is lowered onto the glue in the drum. Continue this process until a steady stream of glue is being forced from the purge spout with no air bubbles. At this point, with the purge valve still open, briefly engage the manual ram up mode to take the downward platen pressure off the glue surface until glue is no longer being forced out the purge spout. Source some high temperature grease that your glue supplier certifies is compatible with the adhesive being used. Install a tube of this grease into a standard grease gun. With the purge valve still open, attach the grease gun to the fitting on the purge block. Pump this grease into the block until it is forced out the purge spout. Close the purge valve and reactivate auto ram down. This concludes the training video.